Hi, um, and thanks for having me. I'm Paul, um, CEO together with Jana Schmidtholz of Eventing. Um, Eventing was founded in 2014, and we are a managed marketplace in the process of becoming a software as a service enabled marketplace for corporate event booking. Or to put it in a bit more catchy phrase, we are the one stop shop for anything a company wants to do outside of its own four doors. Um, before I jump into what we have done and what we have achieved so far, let me quickly explain um, why we believe this market is broken and needs fixing. There are two sides in the market that really require help and that require change. Um, first of all, think about how companies organize events right now. The key thing is, you come out, you want to organize a Christmas party, a portfolio day, etc. Um, and there's no dedicated expert with domain expertise in organizing events in 80% of the companies who do that. So it ends up being the extra task given to the office manager, the assistant to the CEO, the marketing department, or worse of all, a group of volunteers. Um, and you end up, um, and they end up researching venues for hours. They end up inquiring venues for availability. Um, and this is a process that goes on and on, back and forth. Eventually, they get offers, realize most of the venues they wanted to go to are too expensive, didn't understand some information they needed, etc. So it's a really a painful process that takes a lot of time and is very burdensome on those people who are in charge of doing it. If you look at the other side, at the venues, they have the classical problem that A, marketing your venue online is literally close to impossible. Think about um, someone trying to organize a Christmas party for his 50 people startup, and you type in, in Google Christmas party location Berlin. If station here would bid on that keyword, um, they're most likely not the right venue for that Christmas party because with 50 people you'll feel rather alone in all this space. And secondly, it's definitely out of budget um, for them. And the second topic the venues have. They have a high fixed cost and very low marginal kind of business. So they really need to get the occupancy up to become successful. Every additional booking really helps them to become profitable or increases their profit because the fixed costs, the high fixed costs are there no matter whether someone is in the venue or not. And the solution um, for this really, in our opinion, broken market is, you may have guessed it, us. Um, and then in it, let's quickly go through it. What do we do for the venues? Very simply, first, we do excellent digital marketing for them. We can do that much better. We have the whole portfolio. No matter who inquires on Google, we will always have the right venue for them, be it at 50 people or 500 people kind of event. Secondly, we have access um, to B2B clients. And in contrast to the venues, we can maintain that um, we can maintain that relationship with them because we have, for any kind of event they want to organize, we have the right venue. Be it an off-site, be it the Christmas party, be it just a workshop, um, or even a team event, we have always the right provider they need, which a venue in itself will never be able to offer all the different requirements for the different types of events a company has to do. By doing that, we really help them because they only pay a subscription fee to us, um, which they get back on the first booking practically. So their investment into us is a very low risk investment. It re they have to return on the first booking. Um, on top of that, they pay us a commission for every business we bring them, um, which is again a purely success fee and something very happy for them to do. On the company side, first of all, our entire service is for free. Um, which always is a good start when you're offering a service. Secondly, um, we reduce research costs for those companies by 90% and more. So organizing your company Christmas party in terms of finding the venue and booking the venue can go down from 10, 15 hours to less than one hour if you use eventing. Um, we have the largest and curated high quality portfolio in the market on our platform. Um, we have ratings from former users and our own event location experts who really know the, the venues and know which companies have been there um, prior and how happy they have been. So 
these things really help um, to get the companies to work with us. And the last point is, if you're a really large company or you're running large events, we have an additional service, um, which we call the Custom Consulting Service. And that service um, will really um, kind of provide you additional help through call center services, um, which is needed when the event becomes big and very complex. Because many people, um, when they do big events of 100,000 euros and more, um, do need some more help when doing it. Now, have a quick look at the market. I think the market, um, to put it mildly, is massive. Um, I put here t larger than 10 billion. The actual studies um, are going even up to 90 billion. Only for Germany, globally, we are at 100 billion and more. Um, what we have here is the most conservative approach to looking at the addressable market. And that is huge. A few more comments to really help you understand this market. We are talking about the market. It's a mice market. So it's meetings, incentives, congresses, and exhibitions. Um, and this is really what we target, and the only thing we target in the market. Um, three kind of, I think, important things. Um, first, one third of all hotel bookings here in Germany are mice market related. So practically one third of all hotel nights are part of our market, because obviously if someone um, organizes a congress or, um, or a conference, we will not only give them the venue, but also the hotel nights if necessary. 50% of that market is conferences and meetings. Um, those 50% um, is the majority of that 50% is um, conference up to 250 people. Everyone thinks about congresses and thinks about things like NOAA or even bigger things, but the majority is really the up to 250 people, which is our sweet spot, the core of what we are really, really good at. And despite the fact that people have meeting for many, many um, hundreds of years, um, this market is still growing at a um, relatively impressive rate. It's grown up to close to 50% since 2009. So how have we done? Um, we have started, as I mentioned, um, as a pure classifieds player. So we took a subscription fee, and we took only a subscription fee. Over time, we started working on the commission business. And we have grown an average 132% um, over the last four years. Um, we have kicked off really properly the commission business in, in the last uh, year and a half um, when we started the customer consulting service and decided to focus on the B2B market and not so much on the B2C market, which we've done initially as well. Which you can see since the green part of the commission, that is what is growing rapidly. Um, get a bit deeper into the commission part of our business. Um, we have grown this um, Q1 last year to this year of 190%. Um, but I think what is the actual really, really nice um, achievement is that within just 12 months, we managed to have, get bookings from 20 of the Duck 30 companies. So two thirds of them have actually booked on our platform. 28 out of 30 have inquired already on our platform. So we're very happy to have managed to get really all the big guys on board. And beyond that, we have many other companies from the startup scene, from the, from the consulting scene, etc., who work with us. Um, which is something we are happy about, and we can see now already the very first cohort, they are coming back, they love the service, um, so we really seem to be fixing the problem here in the market. Now, have a look at our venues. How happy are they with our service? And here we're looking at our subscription fees, and I think they love us even more, because um, if you look at the, the cohorts from the very beginning um, to up to today, 90% um, of the revenue stays after two years, which I believe is an impressive result, in particular considering that we've increased prices last year, which did not increase churn, um, which is usually a good metric to see that you've achieved um, a good market penetration. So having done all this, um, what's next for us? Um, we believe this is really one of the hot categories of tomorrow. You can see investment is flowing into these startups now in the US with Google Ventures and Temasek starting to invest. Um, we also see that everyone was trying to find product market fit. Um, and we believe we are the furthest down the road when it comes to product market fit. We really have found product market fit. Um, and that's why we want to expand um, internationally and globally, um, because there are so many other markets, because it's really um, a city model. Um, and the markets outside of Germany, some of them are significantly bigger. Like London, for instance, is up to four, eight times the size of the Berlin market. 
Um, obviously, the question is always, you can be very good at something you do at home, but are you actually also good at expanding? Both Jana and I have previously worked in startups that we rolled out to, in her case, 20, in my case, 35 countries, so we believe we have a very good, um, good uh, track record on that, but it's always better to prove it. And we have started with London this year. We started preparations in January, hired one person, um, dedicated person for the UK beginning of February, went live with 100 venues under contract after six weeks. Another six weeks down the road, we've been profitable. Um, and our first ever booking in the UK was from Nike, who already booked a second time. So we believe we're on a very good track um, to go out and win this, um, not only here in Germany, but literally around the world. Thanks.